But when that single shot ran out, rang out in a LaSalle classroom, that staff and the police, they quickly implemented a crisis plan that they implemented several weeks ago. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee has details of how that worked. Tom? Well, Tanya, every school in Ohio has to have a crisis plan on file with the Ohio Attorney General's office. Each of the 114 schools in the Archdiocese of Cincinnati has complied with that request. That includes LaSalle High School behind me here, and that plan was quickly implemented this morning. Now, after 911 was called, all 800 students were locked down in their classrooms. Then they were sent to the gymnasium as police from Green Township and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office arrived. Only then, 35 minutes later, did an email go out notifying parents of the shooting, and the school defended that move. And that safety plan stipulates a sequence in which these types of issues must be handled. The top priority in that sequence is the safety of the students in the building. We have to make sure that all of the students are accounted for, that they're all safe and secure, and then move forward with external communications. Uh, we have verified that a safety plan is in place. The Green Township Police uh, worked very closely in reviewing the safety plan in December of 2012. Now, of course, parents rushed to the school to make sure their sons were okay, and no student was allowed to go home unless a parent or guardian was with them. School does resume here tomorrow on North Bend Road in Green Township. There will be clergy on hand. There will be counselors on hand. There will be a prayer service to start the day, and there will be extra police presence. Now, Tanya, coming up at 6 o'clock, some answers to the question, at least some partial answers to the question of why this all has happened. And Tom, really, that's the big question right now. Why? Why did this child feel the need to do this? Why did he feel the need to do this in front of his classmates at the school where he was an honor student, where he was doing so very well? It's all questions that I know we as parents are asking tonight. What can we do? to help our children if they're in this crisis as well. And we certainly hope that maybe if one good thing comes out of this, it might be a conversation. Tom mentioned it, and we just spoke to one of the school counselors, or one of the counselors, we should say, who is in that school right now, psychiatrists in there, working on a plan, talking to people who are still in that school. There are kids that potentially have not yet been picked up by their parents. So they may be in there right now. We know that some of the grief counselors and the psychiatrists are, and they will be there again tomorrow and potentially for several days. And one of the things that struck me so much when we were watching this news conference, Carol, earlier today was when they said, keep these prayers going for this young man. This community, we will survive this. We will come together and we will survive this. But keep these prayers coming for this young man and his family. And whatever you do, make sure you tell your children tonight that you love them. Carol? Absolutely, Tanya. And 